Hi all. See this, this is a problem regarding mat matrix and B particular it's a matrix multiplication. So see that we are required to find out P to the power of 50 where P is given, right? So how we calculate P to the power of 50? Obviously, it is uh, very trivial to uh, uh, think that uh, nobody gives you a problem so that you need to multiply P to, mm, to the power 50 by multiplying uh, 50 times or maybe P square multiplied by cube 6, 6 to 9 something, right? It's, it's not the process, right? So always you have to find that for this kind of problem, we need to find out the pattern so that we can guess P to the power 50. That's the problem. So let's go ahead and take that particular problem as P, okay? Now what is P square? So if I multiply P with the same matrix, right, we'll get P square, right? So let's go ahead. So we get P square. Now obviously we need to calculate that. We all know about the matrix multiplication. So how we go for matrix multiplication? Now uh, that 1, 0, 0 need to be multiplied with the first uh, column, then 1, 0, 0 the second column and so on. So we'll get that first, second, third term and all the stuff. So if we go ahead, right, we get that matrix uh, product, right? So these are the matrix product, okay? Now, you just spend your time and get that values, right? This is only the numerical uh, calculation, okay? Now, see that here we can take 16 common and here 4 is multiplied. So, the j it can be written as in this form that 4 into 2, 16 into 1 plus 2 into 4 into 2, right? Uh, because we are looking for some pattern and we already get some pattern. Now, see that what's that? It's the pattern is that if it is P square, that 4 should be multiplied by 2 and uh, 1 plus 2 will be added, right? That's it. So we can guess for the P cube. What's P cube? P cube must be that 4 cross 3, 4 cross 3, 16 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 and diagonals will be 1, right? Let's see that. Is it true for P squared? So we consider that matrix P squared. So we consider that P squared and P um, multiplied. So we'll get P cube, right? And let's go ahead. So if we go ahead and do the calculation, we'll get that, right? The same thing, okay? Whatever we predicted, okay? So our prediction technique are holds good here. So that means it will hold goods for p to the power 50 as well. So therefore what is p to the power 50? p to the power 50 is actually 4 into 50, 4 into 50 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 to 50, right? So let's go ahead and predict, right? What is p to the power 50, okay? Now see that here this is 200, this is 200. So nothing need to be discussed here. But here whatever they are in the parenthesis, right? 1 to 50, it's actually the sum of first 50 natural numbers. So the sum will be equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. That means 50 into 50 plus 1 divided by 2. If I calculate, we'll get the huge value as, uh, let's see that, what's the value? 20400. Zero, right that's the value so therefore we are now able to calculate what is p to the power 50 so let's write down that p to the power 50 matrix right so we get that now see that here there are given another uh, expression that says p to the power 50 minus q is equal to i that means the identity matrix of order 3 okay now if i take that i in that side so p to the power 50 minus i is equal to q right so let's go ahead so let's go ahead and calculate that uh, relation Okay. So here we consider that p to the q is equal to p to the power 50 minus psi. Now what is p to the power 50? We know that this is p to the power 50. And identity matrix means everyone is 0 except the diagonal elements and diagonal elements are 1. So if I subtract, all the diagonal elements become 0. So therefore we can calculate that p q. Now, what is Q? We can rewrite it as Q11, Q1, 1, 2, 1, 3 forms and all that stuff. So therefore, we can easily obtain what is actually Q and what is actually that uh, value we already obtained. Now, our job is done. Why? Because see that here we are going to find out 31, 32 for Q values, right? So here we can compare each and every terms and able to obtain what is Q31, what is Q... Uh, 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 32 and 21. So let's uh, calculate all those values, right? So now the last step anybody can do that we have to go ahead and substitute in the taking ratios and get that solution, okay? So if I substitute the appropriate values in appropriate places and take the division, we'll get the answer as uh, 1, 0 and 3, okay? And that's it. So therefore for this problem, obviously you understand that option B is the right choice, okay? So that's it. So here this problem is little tricky in that to find P to the power 50 and the remaining are very straightforward. Forward, okay so that's it hope you understood the problem thank you